Hello students, in this video we'll discuss how to transform random variables and how to find the PDFs and CDFs of transformed random variables. If we're given a random variable x, we can consider a function f of the random variable x, and this will be a new random variable which we'll call y. So this is a new random variable. And the question we'll have is question is given f capital of x, the CDF of, of x, what is f capital of y, the CDF of y? And so we'll do this with an example first, and we'll see how the example can generalize. So here's the example we'll do. If we're given a random variable x, find the CDF of y, which is e to the x. And so what we'll do is we'll find, we'll consider the probability that the random variable y is less than or equal to y is the CDF of y. So this is our CDF of the random variable y. But what can we say about the probability that y is less than y? Well, we can convert this now. So the probability that y is less than y is equal to the probability that e to the x is less than or equal to y. And now, to get x by itself, I can take the log of this equation on the inside of the probability. So this is the probability that x is less than or equal to the natural log of y. And we know what the probability that x is less than the natural log of y is. That is the probability density, the CDF of x at the natural log of y. And so now if we want to find the PDF of this, we could do the following. We could take the derivative of this with respect to y. So if I do d by dy of this over here, that'll be the PDF of y, which we can call f little y of y. And we see if I do the derivative over here, that has to be equal to d by dy of f x of the log of y. And so that will be f prime of x, evaluate the log of y, and then times the derivative of the inside function, which is 1 over y. And so what this is, is this is the PDF of the random variable x, evaluate the log of y, times 1 over y. And so we can take this reasoning and generalize it. So in general, what do we have? So in general, if I wish to compute the probability that y is less than or equal to y, which is our CDF of y, that is equal to, if y is a function of x, this would be the probability of some function of x, f of x, being less than or equal to y, if we're assuming that y is equal to f of x in the general case. And then what we can do is if this function f is invertible, we can say this is the probability that x is less than or equal to f inverse of y. And now, this is really just fx, the CDF of the other random variable x, evaluated at f inverse of y. And so now if I want to find the PDF, if I now I have the CDF of y is given in terms of the CDF of x, evaluate the inverse function of the transformed function. And now what we can do is if we differentiate this with respect to y, if I do the derivative of this with respect to y, what I'll get is I'll get the PDF of the y variable. And what that will be is that will be f 
x prime of f inverse of y times d by dy of f inverse of y. And now f capital prime is just a PDF, so this will be the PDF, f sub x, that PDF, evaluated the inverse function of the transformed variable at y times the derivative with respect to y of the inverse function of the transformation variable f. So what we do when we're asked to find the PDF of a transformed random variable is we always start with the CDF. We start with the CDF of the transformed variable. We write down the transformed function in terms of x. And then we apply the inverse of the transformed function to write it in terms of the CDF of the random variable x, which is given to us. Thank you very much.